Public Health Registered Dietitian and Nutritionist, three healthy, diabetes-friendly game day recipes. That's right. And so, no pizza involved yeah. here. No, no pizza no. involved here today. So it's everyone's favorite season, football season. It wasn't so great yesterday, Emily. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Bill. Uh, uh, okay. this, this is for next week. Okay, okay for next right. week. Yeah, we're next week. Moving yeah, forward. Moving okay. ahead, Doctor. What do you so, have? I have three healthy dips. It's important. Um, football season is a time when we can consume a lot of calories. Mm -hmm. Get together, friends, family, parties, eating, eating, eating. We're not really thinking about what we're eating, but if you bring your own healthy dip, you know you have something there that you can eat. Right. And we're also talking about portion control. We got everything portioned out in these cups. So our okay. first dip today, this recipe is going to be on the American Diabetes Association website. It's mm -hmm. a healthy spinach and artichoke dip. Mm -hmm. So. The great thing about this, it's mostly vegetables, artichokes, and spinach. It's going to have half a cup of white mayonnaise and half a cup of Parmesan cheese. If you pair that with our whole grain chips here, you've got a healthy dip. A regular old mayonnaise, really not a low fat. Light, light mayonnaise. Light, light mayonnaise. Light okay. mayonnaise. Cut a little bit of that fat out. Okay. There. And I like that you've made it in the small crock pot, which it kind of keeps is, you from eating a little bit too much. It's yeah. a nice portion she control. She knew if she brought a big one that we would <laughs> eat it. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Next, we're going to have a seven-layer bean dip, and what I love about this is everything in here is healthy. Mm -hmm. Please dig in. So at the bottom, we have our pureed beans. Our next layer is going to be, instead of sour cream, it's plain non-fat Greek yogurt. You still get the same great flavor, mm -hmm. the creaminess, without all the extra fat. Next layer of avocado, which is going to be healthy fats. Then we have shredded chicken, topped with salsa, topped with olives, and green onions. That looks good. And you talked about portion control, so is that should be one serving? That's one serving. So, you know, if you're at a party, you kind of keep dipping and dipping and dipping. It's kind of easy to lose track of how much it you're eating. sure is. So if you have your own personal cup, it's cleaner, it's easier, good to go. Very if you good. pair that with whole grain chips instead of regular just white corn chips, you're getting extra fiber as well. Okay, very good. And last but not least, we have my favorite. It's homemade hummus. It's incredibly easy to make your own hummus. You don't always have to make it with chickpeas. I made this one with just white beans. Oh, really? And you can add just about anything you want in there to get a flavor that you want. So I added a little bit of chipotle powder. So it's got a little bit of kick, a little mm -hmm. bit of spice. So feel free to try it if you like. yellow carrots. That's right. Wegmans has all sorts of different colored carrots. How is it done? And is this zucchini? Mm. That is zucchini. So it's oh. fun to get a little bit creative with your veggies that you're providing. I've never had raw zucchini before. Let's see if you like it. And the nice thing is when you already have your vegetables out, cut up, ready to go, it's easier for people to grab them. They're more likely to eat vegetables. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it's a great way to get that extra serving in. You keep talking because we're both here. <laughs> <laughs> so <clears throat> again, we just really want to focus on portion control and how important it is to kind of be mindful of how much you're eating when you're at a party, when you're socializing, you're drinking, you're having fun. It's so easy to lose track. You so. completely lose track. Yeah. Completely lose you get track. Into the game, Especially you get into the when there's a lot of really good foods and you're just excited. Bringing your own healthy snack ensures that there's a healthy option there for you. Mm -hmm. So even if you want to stay away from all the unhealthy options, you still have something there that you can eat mm -hmm. that you feel comfortable with that's not going to ruin your diet, but that still tastes good as well. And so yeah. you don't feel like you're missing out. I, I found that many times that I, I will just mindlessly eat, and mm -hmm. that's what you don't want to do. The um, portion control, with if, if this is what you pick up, you decide, should this be it for dips for you for this the day? This should be it. It's okay. a big, it's a big portion, but if you know that you like bean dip, that's going to be good. Yeah. Okay. What a great idea. I, and I like the, what I try to do, and it's a strategy that may or may not work at different times depending on how hungry I'm, but if you load up on the vegetables as soon as you get there, mm -hmm. you start that's exactly filling your it. stomach with that and maybe a glass of water. And, and then, that's so smart. And sometimes I'll even sneak in a snack before I go to a mm -hmm. party and have just something healthy, quick, a little bit of protein and a little bit of carbs. That way I'm not starving when I get there. Don't mm -hmm. overeat as much as All right, if folks want these recipes, they can get them. On the website. On 13WAM.com. Yep. All right, thank you so much. Thank Emily so Cole much. from American Diabetes Association. Good stuff. Very good. Try that one. Nope. I don't want to get in your way between you and no, your no, chip. No, 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 you go ahead first. You got the chip. Go for it, Doug. <laughs>